just wanted to take time away from my busy schedule in the midst of all this chaos that's happening in the world today to say thank you to our Lord Jesus Christ. He definitely deserves all the praise, all the honor, all the glory goes to him. There's still hope in the midst of any storm. I wanted to say thank you to Believer's Faith Ministry and a special thank you to Apostle Edison Nottage and Prophetess Maddie Nottage for their hard work, their love, their dedication in delivering God's people. I remember my first time stepping foot into the ministry. I was so heartbroken. I was torn into pieces. My life that I knew it to be was shattered like glass in the twinkling of an eye. For we were facing a family tragedy and the situation that we were faced with was so tremendous. I was so torn and all I knew is that I needed help and God used my sisters and my mom to bring me to Believer's Faith Ministry and just like everybody else I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going on. The only thing that I knew at that moment was I desperately needed help and on the last day of the conference God used prophetess Maddie Nottage as a vessel and delivered me out of my situation, out of my feelings, out of my brink of insanity. Come out! Out in the name of Jesus! Take your powers out! In the name of Jesus! Take your powers out! Out in the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name! What have you done to our family? I killed her husband. You killed the husband. My husband. You. You yes, did this. I did this. Why did you do that? I don't like her. Because you don't like this woman. No. Who are you that don't like this woman? Huh? Shakima. Shakima. I want the son. You want the son. He's in jail. You I'm did all of this. The, the son killed the husband. Yes. Oh Jesus. In front of her. Oh Lord In Jesus. People, are y'all hearing this? Yes. Are y'all hearing this? I did it. Shakira. Yes. Chilla. In the Virgin Islands. Oh, yes. You know me. I know your kind. Now, Father, every curse that Alicia and her wicked niece, Shakima, put upon this woman and her children. I reverse all the curses back to them. Oh, come, come, Alicia, take all. Take the punishment, take the judgment. Take the judgment to you, take it to you. Take it all you. Let the worms bite you. Let the snakes bite you. All up in your every area. In your North Pole, South Pole, every pole there is pole. Amen. Take that insanity. Take it, Alicia. Shakima, take madness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So go, spirit husband. Go from the dreams. Go from her dreams, her son's dreams, her children's dream. I set her free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I set her free. In the name of Jesus. I set her free. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Daughter, arise, you are free. Mama, you are free. And ever since my deliverance, I remained in contact. I remained in contact with the ministry and they provided tools to help you walk in my freedom. I got the bracelet, the prayer bracelet, the pillows, the amazing Getty water, the anointing oil, everything, you name it, the books, everything, Apostle Nottage and his book in faith helped me um, keep my faith and to keep going that I needed a reminder that God is still here. And Believer's Faith Ministry is such an amazing ministry. And since my time with them, my life has never been the same. My credit score increased. 
And I remember sowing my first seed. As prophetess said that you have to sow, you have to give. That's the laws of the Bible. And rent was due at the time for me, but I know I needed change. So I, I sowed my seed and forgot about it. And sure thing, God increased it. And with my blessing and with my increase, I came back and I sold once more. And again, it came back and God blessed me again. And I sold again and I got my return again. And it's amazing. Everything that the prophetess prophesied over me, I'm seeing it come to pass. And if you don't believe me, try it for yourself. God is definitely in Believer's Faith Ministry. And this is just a reminder that there is still hope. I am a walking, breathing, standing testimony in the midst of my storm and in the midst of my tragedy. I am still here today to let you know that God is willing and able to deliver you out of any situation that you are faced with, you or your family is faced with. There's hope in God and believers, faith, ministry, God is there. So I encourage you to make contact with Apostle Edison Nottage, Prophetess Maddie Nottage, get in tune with believers, faith, ministry, because God is there and there you will find hope. Blessings.